Here is one of the best 100,000 coin teams you can use on FIFA 23. Do you want to kick off your FIFA 23 experience with a head start? Oh, go on then. Well, look no further. Head over to mulefactory.com and get yourself some FIFA 23 coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for a discount of your order. Link is in the top line of the description. Okay, boys, so today we're here with a brand new video. And today I'm going to be helping you guys with building a 100,000 coin team on FIFA 23. Today I've put together a team that I think is very good especially for the coins as well and i'm going to go ahead and show you obviously all the players in the team i'm going to show you the custom tactics that i use for the team obviously the formation as well and the player instructions then we're going to go into a few games with it see if we can get some wins and hope it goes all good if you guys do like this team or have any improvements for the team as well let me know in the comments below what you change and what you think is good about the team and also hit the like button and subscribe if you are new anyways that's enough of me talking at the start of the video let's go straight into the team and i'll show you who's in there so first of all let me tell you the formation we are rocking for the team we've gone for the four one two one two. That's also what we're rocking game. So let's now get into the players and I'll tell you who's in the team. First up for goalkeeper, we've got Ariola. As you can see here, he is the keeper of choice. You don't really need to spend too many coins, I think, at the start, especially on a keeper. If you wanted to, if you had an untradeable keeper like a De Gea or an Adua Mendy, you could probably chuck these in the team as well. But we've gone for Ariola in goal. Right back for the team is Ricardo Pereira. Once again, fairly cheap, especially near the start of the game. Very good, like solidly, defensively. Not the quickest, which is the only downside. But realistically, you don't need too much pace this year, at least at the moment. So he does the job perfect. The first centre back in the team we have got is Diego Carlos. Decent amount of pace, decent amount of defending, decent amount of physical, also very cheap once again. A solid centre back obviously with the Premier League links this year and yeah I would recommend putting him in the team. Alongside him as the left centre back we have got Klosterman as you can see 86 pace, 82 defending, 78 physical. I know I said earlier pace doesn't matter too much but if you can get more pace in a defender especially you've got even less of a worry. So he's absolutely solid for the start of the game, just over 10,000 coins and a very decent centre back. The left back it is actually someone that's strong links to him. We've gone for Ram. As you can see, 87 pace, 77 passing, 78 dribbling, 71 defending, 77 physical. Very good passing for a fullback, which I think is good this year, especially if you go down the wing. I feel like Wire plays very good this year. A decent amount of pace, a decent amount of defending. I'd recommend checking a defensive chem style on him though, which I haven't done yet, but I will. But overall, a good starting left back. Right, in defensive midfield, this is one of my favourite cards on the game that I actually have in my main team. And it is Casemiro. No bias to your side. This guy is actually ridiculous as a defensive midfielder on this game. Like I said, pace doesn't matter as much right now and his positioning is absolutely ridiculous 87 defending 90 physical get him in your team as a defensive midfielder trust me moving on then to the right midfield we have got once again one of my favorite cards this year and once again is actually in my main team it's Adama Traore this guy is probably the only player that actually feels so far for me rapid on this game he will blitz near enough any fullback on this game get down the wing you can chuck a cross in and it works absolute wonders trust me then on the opposite flank we have got Wilfred Zaha 91 pace five star skills good dribbling decent passing good shooting decent physical perfect for a left mid and very very good for the start of the game just over 10,000 coins as well and is absolutely solid for that position moving on to the cam for the team oh my word this is actually probably my favorite player I've used so far this year and for his price is absolutely ridiculous it is Lucas Paqueta. This guy is ridiculous. Like, I'm not even trolling. He is absolutely insane on this game. As you can see, his card stats 72 pace, which we think wouldn't be good. But trust me, this year, it doesn't matter as much. 78 shooting, which is very good. 79 passing, solid. 85 dribbling. Decent defending, but he's a cam anyways. And decent physical with five-star skills and four-star weak foot. Once again, in my main team as well, like alongside all of my top players, Paqueta is in there. He is absolutely incredible. Even if you don't use all of this team, please try this this guy out. Then moving on to the front line, we've got our first striker, which is Guedes, a very good starting striker this year, especially for a 100k team. He's got 86 pace, 83 shooting, 83 dribbling, decent passing at 74 as well, decent physical, four star, four star, high low work rates, and is an absolute menace in front of goal. This guy is really good. Definitely give him a go. Even if you have a better team than a 100k team, get him on your bench as a super sub. And then last but not least, we've got the final striker, which is Darwin Nunes. As you can see, 89 pace, 82 shooting, 86 physical, 77 dribbling, okay pass at 68. It works very well with the right midfielder. Obviously, as I told you earlier, Traore, who's very good at getting past defenders, crossing it in. That's why he's in the team. And there is the full team once again in full form in the 4 one 2 and 2 formation, as you can see. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the custom tactics I'm rocking for this team and also the instructions. Then we'll get into some gameplay. So moving on to the custom tactics. 
I have got balanced defensive style with the width of 40 and depth of 60. Then onto the offensive style, we have build up play on balance, chance creation balance with 60, plays in the box is seven, corners is on three, and free kicks is on three. If I'm honest, I haven't really fully tested out loads of different tactics this year. That is just what I've gone with at the start. You guys might have better tactics than me, so you can put them in definitely, but they're the ones I'm rocking at least for this video to show you the team. Then onto the instructions. The keeper is on default. We have right back and left back on stay back while attacking. We have both the centre backs on default as well. Our defensive midfielder is on cut passing lane, stay back while attacking and cover centre. Left mid and right mid are both on default. Cam is on stay forward and both strikers are on getting behind and stay forward. So that's all the custom tactics and instructions we use for this team. And now it's time to actually show you what this team can do in game. So now we're going to get to some gameplay. We're going to go into like classic match or something like that just to give you a proper idea of the 100k team. Obviously it's only a starter team. I actually played a game or two yesterday so I'll show you them first and then we'll do some more right now. Guetta put him through. Here we go. Guedes. Oh he sends a defender on the floor. Guedes already one minute in with the first game with this team and Guedes scores with a Piqueta assist. Beautiful. Burst of Adama Traore. Play it in to Piqueta. Good ball. Nunes. Play him in. Oh my word. If he's onside, that is a very good save. Guedes. I can't believe I missed it. That's all on me. Good challenge. Traore. Nunes. Nice. Good finish. Zaha, that is disgusting. That is disgusting from Wilfred Zaha. Just sent like about three defenders and slots it into the goal. Come on. Here we go, Paqueta. Rabona cross. Darwin Nunes. Oh, that is beautiful. What a link up there. Send him. Back post. Zaha. Oh, beautiful from Traore. What an assist and good header from Zaha. Feed him through. Here we go. Traore. Ah, oh, Nunes is not in there, really. Oh, my word. Oh, it's worked out, though. What a ball. <laughs> it actually worked out in the end. We take that. Zaha. Bang. Oh, my word. That was a beautiful finish. Come on, Wilf. Have that, Zaha. Go. Good ball. Nunes. Play it across. Nice bit of football. Let's go. Good finish. Let's go. Go on, Adama. Go. Nunes, make that run in the middle. Can he whip it in to Nunes? What a ball. What a ball. And what a finish from Nunes. That's the link up you get from these two. Casemiro in the right place at the right time. Love that. Zaha sent him. Oh, that's disgusting, Wolf. Oh, my word. Oh, that was disgusting from Zaha. So there we go, then that was the 100k team in action. As you saw, a lot of the clips there, a lot of the attacking clips. I know I didn't show many defensive clips, but I feel like it's not that easy to show a defensive clip. I wanted to really show off the attack. I feel like the defense probably is the weaker side. However, I did win like most of the games we actually played with it. So if there's anything that I would say improve when you get a bit more coins is on the defense. However, the overall team is a very good team to have at this stage of FIFA, at the start of FIFA 23. And like I said earlier, I use a lot of these players in my actual main team as well, which is worth a lot more coins than 100,000. Like I said earlier, though, what I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments below where you'd actually improve this team and can you make a better team than this with a hundred thousand coins. Please do let me know in the comments below. Anyways, that's really enough for me talking. Hopefully this video has helped you out for the start of FIFA 23. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>